Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, um, I'm Rob from RobinOnPhoto.com with a really quick look at the Roniflex X3000 plastic 35mm toy camera. Picked this little beauty up from a um, charity shop in the New Forest and um, it's quite a cool little thing. Um, in common with all the plastic toy cameras you can you can buy. This is not a pre precision instrument. Um, it doesn't have any electronics in it at all but it's great fun and it takes some quite interesting images, uh, interesting film images and the great thing about the Roniflex is that it actually uses 35mm film instead of the usual 120 you get in these toy cameras um, it's a bit like a, um, a 35mm Diana, kind of kind of. Um, so let's have a quick look at the outside, it's all very very cheap plastic um, very simple viewfinder there's a shutter release the wind on is there and uh, let's have a quick look inside. If I can get the back off, this is always a little bit tricky with this one. Oh, there we go. And there you can see the 35 mil space for the 35 mil cassette and the wind on. Now, what's great about it as well is uh, it's a 50 mil lens, which is a, it's, a, it's a good size for for these sort of toy cameras because. With a toy camera, I always think you want something slightly different. You want something um, that isn't, you know, super wide and sharp. And what what you find with a 50 mil sort of standard focal length is that it gives you an opportunity to pull off like segments of a, of a scene. You know, you're not getting the whole scene. You can just choose choose a selection, which I which I really really like. Um, it's a 5.6 um, aperture. It says <laughs> it says um, and um, that is variable though, um, and there's uh, no um, shutter speed adjustment at all, and there's no focus adjustment, it's sort of an infinity focus uh, lens. The only control you have is obviously your composition, the film you put in, and then this, these little settings here, which you can probably see are cloudy, overcast, a um, little bit of sun, and then direct sunlight. And what the, you, you can't really, uh, well, you might be able to see if I take the, let's take the back off, you might be able to see. Actually you won't because the shutter will stay closed. What's happening is as I'm turning them in the lens, no, it's too dark to see, there's actually, it's the, that is the control of the uh, aperture, there's like this thing that's closing up and opening up like that to adjust the amount of light that comes in. Um, I've shot 35mm um, black and white film that I developed myself uh, through this camera and it's come out great. The only thing you've got to watch out for with all of these type of toy cameras is make sure you get the wind, get get your spool wound on properly because sometimes what you find is they have a tendency to slip and I managed to shoot a whole roll of film without actually moving now, and the way you can test that is once you've loaded it and you're winding it on what you're looking for is this bit to be turning as well and that way you know that you've wound, wound your film on correctly just keep an eye on it as you're going along but there we go, the Roniflex X3000, I got it for a couple of quid, look out for it at um, car boot sales, thrift, sh thrift shops, charity shops and the like. Get it, stick some 35mm film in it, pr I'll probably try some colour next um, and uh, you know have some fun with really basic photography. My name's Rob from RobNonPhoto.com, thanks for watching.